All right, Nifty Thrifty Girl, today, um, this is April, what is today, April 23rd, 2012. And this is another rare opportunity for you to own a Kenmore 1941. Um, this is a highly sought after and coveted model of sewing machine. They don't come available often. The owners do not let go of them because they're such a wonderful machine, and I'm not even kidding. Um, that's why it's it's so weird that this is the second one that we've been able to offer this week and the fourth free arm that I've actually found this week. Um, the convertible Kenmores don't come around very often and for us to have found four of them in the past I think two weeks total is totally rare. This is a model, um, I believe it's a 1941-2 find the tag. The last one that we offered and is already sold, oh I'm sorry, this is a 1941-0, was a super high shank. This one is a low shank. Um, now a convertible, if you're not familiar, of course means that this machine can be used as either a flatbed or a free arm machine. Get my coffee out of the way here. Um, right now it's in flatbed mode. And it's real easy to change. Now, if you wanted it to use it as a flatbed but access your bobbin, you push this little button and this simple panel comes off. And then you can access your bobbin case. And this is your feed dog drop right here. This little lever that drops your feed dogs. So you don't have to take off the whole extension bed to access your bobbin. It snaps right back on. Now, to remove the extension bed or the flatbed, you just pull. This one does not, oh, no, right here. In the front there's a button. It releases and that exposes your free arm. Now of course free arms are handy for pants legs, shirt sleeves, and small stuff like doggy baby clothes and small crafts. And it just slides right back on just as easily as it slid off. Tabletop ready, of course. You cannot install these into a cabinet unless they're mounted from underneath, and it's kind of hard to find a cabinet. So, um, they are tabletop machines serviced and ready to go. You get this is a snap on, snap off foot. You get a zigzag, a straight, and a satin foot that snap on to the same shank. And then you get a zipper foot that's its own unit. And you also get the complete button holder. I'm sorry if I'm blocking with my arm here. You get the complete button holder that this panel snaps off. Open your bobbin case. And the button holder adapter plate snaps on the front. And then this operates. Yeah. It's whole working thing. It is explained in the original instruction manual that you will get with this machine. Now, get that back off there. It comes with a cool little storage box. Everything fits in there just fine. It also comes with the coveted and hard to find elusive straight stitch needle plate insert. So that comes with it as well. Oh, let's sew with it a little bit. And of course, like all of our other machines, this machine comes to you serviced and ready to work, packed safely to reach you in one piece. Check our feedback. And if you are watching this video on anyone, any other seller's page, this is not the machine that you're buying and they have stolen my video. I always like to point that out. I don't like people to think that they're buying one machine and they get another because I just frustrates everyone and it's just a big pain. So I'm Nifty Thrifty Girl on eBay and you should be looking th at this on my seller page and if you're not, this is not the machine you're buying. Quiet, beautiful. Now I do want to point out that this was in a smoker's home. Um, we left it sit out and air out for a while. My husband has cleaned on it for two days. I do not smell any smoke at all now. It was really, really strong. But 
I can honestly say that there's no smoke smell left, which is amazing. It did come with a carrying case, and I will tell you, if you buy this machine and you're interested in the carrying case, it did have a cracked corner. It's still functional, but the top, but the corner of the lid is cracked, so I'm not going to put it on eBay. If you're interested, I would charge you shipping only for the, the case that this machine sits in. It's the original Kenmore carrying case for the convertible. Um, this also has, it has 12 built-in stitches, including stretch. Here's your... This is your stretch straight. And of course, if you change your width, you've got rick rack or stretch zigzag. And it has many other built in stretch stitches as well. All metal gears uses class 15 bobbins, 15 by 1 needles. Everything on this machine is standard. You don't need anything fancy to operate it. And as a matter of fact, if you follow the user's manual, you can service it yourself, and it should never have to see the shop. You need a toothbrush, a bottle of oil, and you're good to go. Not kidding. They're really easy to take care of. Um, this is six layers of denim. I'm using the size 16 needle. Oh, we still got that in stretch. Regular. Now, I'm not going to blast through it and try to break my needle because that's just stupid. As you can see, six layers of denim. Really no challenge for this machine. And just like all the other Kenmores, it has lots and lots of clearance under the front of foot. I always make, measure that with quarters. I'm going to do the same now. Take my quarters out here. Here are six quarters. Let's see what we got. Now this doesn't necessarily mean that it'll sew something this thick, but you know, if you're trying to fit your project underneath and it's so hard to get under there and your foot doesn't have lift, it will snag your fabric and it's very, very troublesome. Look at this. Lift it, get that under there, let the foot down on it. No other machine can really do that. And the whites are really bad. The whites have a very low clearance. Easy to snag your fabric on the foot feed dogs as you're trying to get it in. Not so with the Kenmore. Six quarters. Lift that up with more room to spare. It really, really lets you work your project underneath. That is the Kenmore Model 1941 Convertible Free Arm.